What's going on YouTube? Uberman here. So I picked up this 2003 Chevy Trailblazer. It's the 4.2 inline 6 with the two-wheel drive transmission. I picked it up for 700 bucks. They were asking 1100, but I talked them down. It's got, uh, I believe, 160,000 miles on it. A little dirty. Definitely got to do some cleaning. But I bought it um, from the seller is saying that the transmission was going out in it. And this is a very common mistake. This right here is a shift solenoid. Um, this one in particular, shift solenoid B. The uh, transmission was stuck in third gear. Um, it'd go in reverse just fine, good power in reverse, but as soon as you put it into drive, uh, no power at all. Um, very difficult to drive that way. And, you know, I drove it around, it seemed to drive fine. And then, uh, this is where you find out a lot about how your transmission's doing internally is when you take the pan off. Now, I've seen uh, I've seen fluid in better condition. I've seen fluid in worse condition. But regardless of what the fluid actually looks like, what I'm looking for in the bottom of this pan are thick shards of metal. And as you can see, there are none. There's a little bit of discoloration. There's definitely some metal. This is a uh, pickup magnet. And what is on that magnet is actually a bunch of friction material. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. This goo right here, this black tar looking goo, is actually metal. And that's normal. That's what the magnet's in there for. It's to pick up uh, friction material from the clutches as the vehicle is driven and as it ages. It loses friction material instead of circulating it through the fluid. We, uh have it attached to this magnet. You get a little bit of discoloration in the pan here. That's normal. Cleans up. So, what I'm seeing, um, I ran a diagnostic. That's the first thing I did. And upon running the diagnostic, it uh, very clearly gave me a code for the shift B solenoid, which controls, uh, I believe it's second to third gear shifting. And we're going to go under here now so you can get a look at the transmission. Um, as you can see, these trailblazers, uh, I, I gotta give them a lot of credit. These things are tough. Um, they usually last a long time. I've seen these things go over 300,000 miles on the original components. There's nothing leaking under here. I mean nothing, there's the engine, what I can get of it for you. And not a drop of anything leaking under this truck. Here's the transmission again. Nothing leaking under this truck at all. Except for where I've torn the transmission apart here. Uh, very easy to do. Took the uh, pan off. I got a new filter. I'm going to drop that here in a minute. I've been letting it drip dry. But uh, you've got a solenoid right here. You've got a solenoid right here. Then when you get further under here, you've got a solenoid right here where this plastic clip is. You've got another solenoid that used to attach here, and that's the one that's on top of the truck. And then this is basically, this right here is a connector plate and you've got an entire wiring harness that runs under here and runs to a connector up the other side but uh sometimes this plate will go bad sorry i'm not even pointing out sometimes this plate will go bad you got to replace it and uh occasionally you'll need to replace the entire wiring harness but either way this is a very cheap fix especially when it comes down to replacing one of these transmissions um brand new remanufactured you can get a 4L60E or the EHD or the 4L70E. They're all pretty much the same transmission. But uh, these things run new around $1,100, and that's without being installed. So, you know, it's pretty expensive. And the part to fix this was $26. So, you know, do the math. <laughs> With the uh, new fluid, the filter pan gasket, and uh, the new solenoid everything came out to uh, like 80 bucks 83 dollars and here's the fluid i'm using on it um, in this truck you can actually use two types of fluid you can use a uh, dextron 3 or you can use dextron 6. Um, truthfully it really doesn't matter here is the filter kit that i got for i gotta wipe my fingers off guys <laughs> this is killing me and i know the video is shaky not much i can do about that but I get a lot of people asking me to, uh, you know, throw some more videos of vehicle maintenance. And this is a really common one. Um, a transmission filter, gasket, and uh, partial fluid change is really easy to do. It's very simple. Um, it's really not a whole lot harder than changing your oil. There's the gasket. 
and here's the here's the new filter and then there's a little gasket in there and that's something you got to watch out for on these a lot of people make this mistake but this is a metal um, outer with kind of a rubbery inner right here and this actually goes inside the transmission where the filter plugs in and this is what creates a good seal and most of the time when you pull the filter out this seal is jammed in the transmission you got to be very very careful not to damage the transmission when you're trying to pull this baby out um, it can be very difficult but just be very careful and pry this thing out of the transmission and don't damage the uh, mating surface but there it is guys there's really not much to it. Get the thing up on some ramps like this, change your transmission fluid and your filter, and uh, a lot of times you won't have issues like this down the road. Um, on normal vehicles, most people do not know this, but you should have your transmission fluid and filter changed every 30,000 miles. And there are people that go, you know, like this Trailblazer, 160,000 miles without ever changing it because they don't even know they're supposed to. Um, I could tell you by looking at this fluid, granted it's dark, but it hasn't turned completely brown and it definitely hasn't turned black yet um, that's when you know the transmission has been severely neglected so somebody has taken care of this um, either that or the transmission has been replaced but it truthfully doesn't look like it I'll show you the interior and then we'll call this video done it's pretty clean I mean it, it okay it's pretty clean but it needs cleaned up these people lived in the country so it's got some uh, some dirt and you know Oklahoma red dirt all over it, but I mean the seats are good. The center console I need to replace. Just this lid. The lid is broken. It won't latch anymore, and it's dipped in right here, as you can see. Age that needs to be replaced. Um, but really, the headliner it looks good. The seats are good. The dash is good. I mean everything. Uh, ice cold air conditioning. Hot heat. There's probably a few little odds and ends that I need to get for it here and there, but other than giving it a really good cleaning, you know, scrub it down, maybe a full interior, have it steam cleaned and everything. It's a nice looking truck. Good tires. I love these tires. Yeah, heavy doors. Uh, these are really nice tires. They're in good shape too. It's a good truck. And for 700 bucks, I mean, seriously, who could complain about it? So anyway, guys, I'm going to get back to work and get this thing running and hopefully do an update video of uh of the thing driving down the road all right guys i know from the video you can't tell but it's been several days since i started working on this uh project flip car maybe maybe something to keep for the winter i don't know um what we're going to do now um transmission's fixed we'll go on a test drive after it's all said and done but these are the hydraulic motor mounts um and what i've got is a pair of them uh, transmission mounts fine but when you put it in drive it vibrates uh, there's a it's not bad but there's a vibration and I don't sell cars that are junk I don't sell cars that uh, aren't up to my standards so uh, and I, I certainly don't drive or put my family in cars that are not up to my standards either so I've got a pair of motor mounts here these are hydraulic which means that they're filled with a fluid um, which helps reduce vibration and one of the mounts is fairly easy to replace. Let's see if I can climb up here. Uh, right down there. Try to point it out right where my finger is pointed at right there. That is the mount. I've already got it. Uh, it's basically unbolted. Just have to lift the engine up. And the other one's a little more tricky, but still, the, the, compared to the motor mounts I did on my Chrysler 300, this is a cakewalk, okay? Um, this one's going to be a little bit harder to see. I'm having a little bit of a hard time even getting up here in the first place. Um, <laughs> give me a second, guys. Way down in there, you can see that bolt right there. Hopefully, between the wires, right there. Um, that bolt's got to come off. I've already loosened it from underneath. We'll go under the truck and show you guys what we're looking at here. Figured I'll just throw all this into one video. It may look like... It's leaking oil here, but it's not. Um, I took it to Walmart, had the oil changed, and they never clean up after themselves. And what happens is, as you can see the filter there, uh, it's not dripping, there's no drips on the driveway. That's just left over from when they changed the filter and put the new one on, it dripped all down the oil pan, and you know they don't clean anything up. That bolt right there, that is the motor mount on this side. And 
on this side, obviously right there is the motor mount I've already got unbolted. And the way this works, um, there's not a lot of room to jack this engine up to remove both mounts at the same time. So you have to loosen one mount, just a hair, unbolt the other one completely, and then I'll put a block of wood on this side of the engine and I'll start jacking it up from this side of the oil pan, which will cause the motor to tilt up this way, giving me enough clearance to remove the mount on that side without doing any other real disassembly. Um, and then as I put this one down, we'll do the same thing for the other side. I'm not going to do a video of this. It's just me and that's way too much work. But uh, if you've got a trailblazer and you need motor mounts, this will give you an idea of how to do it yourself. Okay, so here's the finished product. That's about as clean as I'm going to uh, make it. This is the $700 truck that uh, I will be listing here in just a little bit for uh, I'm guessing about 25 and I'm probably going to stick firm to that. I don't think I'm going to come off of 25 at all. I'd rather keep it than uh, let it go for anything less. Got it all cleaned up now. It's hard to tell but I went over all the trim all the plastic trim that used to be a uh, really light gray the running boards used to be a really faded out gray the uh, front bumper all over there used to be all faded the windshield wipers are that was all faded as well it's got new motor mounts new sway bar links in the rear it's got a new heater blender door actuator which was way under the dash I mean way way up under that thing was a pain to get to uh, everything works transmission works perfectly the uh, heat and air conditioning everything I mean there's nothing on this truck that does not work and as you can see that it's running you can barely even hear it there's no check engine lights no warning lights of any kind so after all this work we're gonna take it for a quick test drive this thing is so smooth. It's ridiculous how smooth it is now. Now when I first got it, this thing wouldn't shift out of uh, third gear. As you can see, we've got first gear and know if I'll get it up to a speed where we'll need to go past first but we'll try there's second probably won't go past that it's a residential neighborhood crazy kids can't complain I mean I've got a uh, at most $900 in this thing and I've driven it a fairly good distance since I've had it even before all the repairs were done I mean for a pretty heavy SUV it runs great it rides good it's uh, very quiet suspensions nice and tight alignment straight really can't complain at all so if I can't get 25 out of it then it'll sit in my driveway I'm not gonna let it go all right guys well that's the end of the video so as always like comment subscribe be safe out there and uber on